So we have now reached the final portion of our program. We're going to have some closing remarks from the executive director of our partner for today's event, uh, Rogerio Sobrero. Rogerio is the deputy director of the Department of Public Policy Analysis of FGV. He's also executive director of Mines, as I mentioned, and he's previously served as an associate professor at the Brazilian School of Public and Business Administration at FGV, and he's also a member of the Brazilian Keynesian Association, which must uh, have some very interesting meetings and discussions when you all get together and nerdy in all the best kind of ways. <laughs> So uh, if Rogerio would please uh, take my place on the stage. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon uh, to everyone. Uh, it's a really great pleasure to be here. And as I said before, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it uh, in the morning uh, as executive director of a uh, co-host uh, 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 institution. Uh, I should have done it, but unfortunately, sometimes there are emergencies that you have to face, and it, it was the case. But uh, at least I, I, I was able to make it uh, during the afternoon. And uh, 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 I would like to tell you, to share with you, uh, that I've learned a lot about uh, illicit financial flows, uh, not only uh, <clears throat> listening for the uh, speakers here during this afternoon, but also uh, reading the, the report, uh, which I think is a very important piece. As uh, uh, Rogerio said, uh, you know, uh, reports such as yours uh, institutions such, such as yours, institutions such as mine, I think uh, those institutions have, you know, a decisive role uh, in putting pressure on, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> uh, subjects like that, uh, how to uh, curtail fin uh, illicit financial flows, how to increase transparency, how, uh, generally speaking, uh, 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 help, so to speak, uh, you know, uh, governments to deliver better public policies. And uh, one, one interesting uh, thing uh, Raymond said, uh, uh, you know, uh, your advocacy to put, you know, up, uh, in the Millennium Development Goals, uh, goes on, uh, 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 curtaining uh, uh, illicit financial flows, and I think it's very, very important. Uh, uh, as uh, I, I think you are, you know, pretty exhausted of talking about illicit financial flows. I won't take so much time of yours. Uh, uh, you know, extending this, uh, you know, closing remarks. But uh, one of the things that I like to, you know, to to to, to point. Uh, is uh, on the uh, role of uh, institutions such as GFI, such as MINDS, uh, or more generally speaking, uh, civil society organizations. Uh, uh, we have, a, you know, uh, as I said, a decisive role uh, uh, not only in putting more pressure on the government to deliver better public policies in general, but uh, uh, to, you know, uh, help to increase transparency. Uh, policies, and also, perhaps mainly, uh, uh, to put pressure on the uh, uh, government, uh, you know, to entice their political will uh, to curtail illicit financial flows, to uh, 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 deliver public policies, better public policies, uh, 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 to uh, 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 <laughs> have better uh, um, uh, uh, development goals, so on and so forth. Uh, why? Uh, 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 just uh, to clarify my point, uh, uh, I would like to, to bring you back, for those uh, of you which are Brazilians, it, it's a very, uh, you know, uh, 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 clear uh, moment. And for those of you that are not Brazilian, perhaps you've been aware of uh, the riots we had uh, last year, uh, uh, by June 2013, uh, and uh, 
uh, those riots uh, apparently uh, were against, you know, the increase of the price of uh, 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 public trans transportation by something like uh, 20 cents. And uh, by the time we've been asking, uh, not only at Mines, but uh, at ATV and uh, elsewhere, why people, uh, Brazilian people, were, you know, uh, uh, so uh, 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 willing to uh, go to the streets to protest against 20 cents. Uh, and uh, we've, we've learned uh, uh, quickly that it wasn't against the 20 cents. It was against, you know, the quality of uh, the public transportation system. And uh, uh, why I'm, 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 I'm bringing this uh, uh, riots uh, here to, uh, to, to this conference, just to tell you uh, uh, that in, in the case of Brazil, and I think in the case of uh, the vast majority of uh, developing countries, uh, people are, uh, uh, you know, exhausted of uh, paying more and more taxes, and uh, against uh, 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 public policies uh, results, well, the, to say the least, that are not that good, and uh, uh, this is precisely the case. Uh, 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 to 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 put pressure on the uh, you know uh, government uh, at federal level, at state level, at municipal level, in order to uh, to have uh, uh, the better uh, public policies, and this is also the case uh, 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 regarding illicit financial flows. As Rogero said, as Leonardo said, we have not only moral uh, implications of illicit financial. Uh, flows, but also we have economic implications. And uh, uh, by means of increasing transparency, institutions such as GFI, mines, and others, uh, uh, institutions of, uh, of civil society, uh, uh, we, we, we should help the society to understand those implications. Uh, and, uh, and which is, as I said, uh, is, you know, uh, a step into increasing the transparency uh, of, uh, you know, uh, uh, illicit financial flows, uh, and uh, more generally speaking, uh, uh, how uh, 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 you know taxes uh, don't pay off here in Brazil uh, and. Uh, 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 Elsewhere in the developing world, and and uh, so uh, I think that uh, uh, institutions such as such as such such, such ours should uh, uh, pursue uh, 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 more research. Should not only pursue, should uh, uh, support more research, more studies on uh, uh, transparency incentives to, to have better public policy results on advocacy. Uh, uh, generally, uh, you know, up to uh, 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 increase uh, civil society participation uh, uh, towards better public policies because I'm a, a, a pretty convinced that uh, only uh, if society put more and more pressure uh, on the uh, government, we're going to have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, better results regarding pol public policies. And uh, why? Because uh, if uh, the uh, the uh, uh, if, if society doesn't put uh, pressure on the government, the government will will not have. Uh, the incentive to to be better off uh, regarding the results of public policy it delivers. So in, in, in this case, uh, and uh, I, uh, I also uh, encompassing, uh, you know, illicit financial flows uh, 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 by uh, by means of this argument. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, I think that at the end. We should uh, 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 understand 
how to help society uh, to to put more pressure on the government in order to, at the end of the day, uh, to to have a, a better public policies and uh, you know uh, uh, to have, a, so to speak, you know, uh, uh, speaking as economists, actually uh, more, you know. Uh, 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 a, a Pareto efficient result. It sounded badly. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, and uh, 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 Raymond mentioned one aspect that I think uh, very interesting is uh, perhaps one of the things that we we we, we have to work on uh, more and more is uh, how to translate financial goals. In order to make those goals, uh, you know, uh, have, in order to, to 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 make those goals have the same status of other goals, such as, you know, uh, decreasing poverty, increasing uh, outcomes of uh, health policies, so on and so forth. We all, we we know that uh, you know uh, 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 illicit financial flows. Uh, uh, Badly uh, uh, financial regula bad financial regulations, uh, 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 higher financial fragility. All those things that you know are part of this you know uh, distant financial world. Uh, they have you know real implications. And uh, uh, one thing that uh, we we. We, we, we have to do, or one thing that institutions such as mine try to do is precisely uh, to translate those implications uh, to the, you know, uh, society in order to show to society how important it is uh, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 to have a better financial regulation, to have a uh, uh, financial system which is more willing to advance long-term credit, uh, the, the, the important role of uh, uh, public financial institutions, uh, uh, how important it is to curtail illicit financial flows, so on and so forth. I think so. Uh, 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 this distant financial uh, world should be, by means of our work, uh, uh, bring uh, uh, close to the uh, society uh, and uh, showing that uh, 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 financial goals are by themselves as important as other goals in order to improve, you know, uh, uh, the outcome of, uh, generally speaking, public policies to the uh, society. So uh, finally, uh, I would like to uh, 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 thank the audience and uh, uh, to say again that it was a, a fantastic pleasure uh, to have the opportunity to co-host this uh, uh, conference with uh, uh, GFI and uh, to, to, uh, to say how important uh, 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 reports such, such, such as yours uh, uh, are for you know uh, this uh, aim of uh, you know translating uh, financial implications to the uh, uh, society, and uh, uh, only by you know uh, convincing society how harmful financial system or uh, a bad financial system can be, uh, we can you know have at the end. Uh, the possibility to, uh, you know, put pressure not only on the financial system but also on the government to have, at the end, you know, uh, better regulations and, uh, you know, uh, a more, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, society. Or, although it will sound naive, perhaps a, a better world. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Rogerio, very much for those closing remarks. We definitely look forward to continuing to work with Mines and FGV and uh, any other organization who wants to pursue this fight and keep it going long after this event. We think that the timing is, is, is perfect for that, and we look forward to trying to support any efforts that will continue on after this. And we still have plenty of copies of the report for you all to grab on your way out. And it's never too early to think about Christmas, too. So if you have any friends or family, feel free to grab extra for them. Um, that uh, concludes our program for today, which thanks to all of you and to our wonderful speakers, we have actually managed to do on time, which is almost unheard of for, for conferences. So thank you all very, very much for, for coming and for sticking with us today and for all of your helpful comments and questions uh, throughout all of our all of our panels, that's a, a big part of how these events uh, go well. We really appreciated hearing what your thoughts have been. Uh, we will be putting up full videos of all of the presentations in English and in Portuguese uh, audio uh, in the next couple of weeks. It takes a little bit of time to get that ready, but we will send out a message to everyone once those are prepared, and then we encourage you to share those with people who weren't able to come today or maybe who weren't able to attend the whole day since I know everyone has a lot of other commitments. And I want to also just give a special thanks to our, our partner Minds uh, for helping us put on this event, to Leonardo for all of his support and encouragement uh, with this subject matter and with this event, and in particular to uh, three people who did a, did a lot of work behind the scenes today to help out with this. Um, and their names I will probably mispronounce, so I'm very sorry. Uh, but uh, Matthew Siana with Minds and our uh, wonderful student volunteers, uh, Matthew uh, Laburine and Diego Vieira. So thank you very much to them, and thank you to all of you. We look forward to seeing you on subsequent uh, visits to uh, Brazil. <laughs>